That lens is dirty. A little better. It is August 28th and I am, I think, about three weeks post glyphosate app and uh, things are pretty much dead as a doornail. There is still a little bit of green going on in the yard here, so we got to do something to take care of that. And that something would have been a second application of glyphosate, but in all honesty, glyphosate, that's a pretty harsh chemical. I didn't want to throw another application of that down. If I don't have to use chemicals, I'm not going to. So plan B to nuking off what's left. to 10, 10 being you're going to burn the house down, one being everything's gonna be completely fine and I trust you, where were you at? Uh, when you initially told me it was a 10, and I was pretty furious, <laughs> and then it gradually went down to about a six. <laughs> That's where you're at right now? <laughs> no, now I'm at a one, like I'm not worried. I, I'm seeing it and I can trust you completely. Turf boss approved? Yes. What do you think, Everett? I like If anything survived that, then you know it's Bermuda. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. How do you feel? My back hurts. Um, and I think I lost 10 pounds from sweating. Um, all right. Probably the most important update though is, uh, check this out.
buddy. Turf kids have found courage, which makes the pucker factor about a 20 on a scale of 10. Prescribed burning, that's what we're talking about with all of this stuff. What are the benefits of this? Why do it in the first place? All that good stuff. If you dive onto the internets and go down the rabbit hole of trying to ask this question and figure it out, you're gonna come up with a whole lot of internet scholars, YouTube certified professionals, telling you all sorts of stuff. I try to find extension office websites, university publications to give me the information behind all this kind of stuff. And when I was researching this particular topic, the closest thing that I could find is the Minnesota DNR State Extension website. They published an article called The Benefits of Prescribed Burning on Private Land. It talks about things like why you should do prescribed burning, the difference between wild and prescribed fires, talks about habitat benefits of burning, why it helps with new growth, best methods of doing it in a controlled burn. All that kind of stuff is outlined in this article. It's a really good article. I'm gonna link that below. I think you should go and read that if this is something that you are considering doing. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I did wanna do a second application of glyphosate. If I can reduce the amount of chemicals that I've gotta use in and around my property, I'm most certainly gonna do it. And finding alternative methods like this is good and let's be honest, it's pretty fun. And even though as it outlines in the article, this applies to larger plots of land, I feel like you can scale it down for residential lawn. For example, what I would do is create a line in the grass and then stomp that out and then burn the area within it so that it just wouldn't catch fast and just get out of control. Also, it was really short, so there wasn't a whole lot of material to catch really fast and just go up into a ball of flames and just get way out of control and turn into a disaster and most likely a visit from the fire department, which ain't nobody got time for that. I would definitely recommend have a plan in place, have supplies nearby to help control what you're doing if it gets out of hand, water, water hose, shovel, things to put it out. And the absolute most critical thing you should do is have the proper footwear. So now I gotta do the whole thing again in the backyard. So this method is Turf Boss approved. Not so scared anymore, right? Right. Got yes. it under control. I can handle it. So we'll do it for the I backyard. Something. You wanna say something? I think candy is the best thing. <laughs> I think our peaches are gonna be runny. You think we eat candy all the time, but we never eat candy. <laughs> never. I sneak Twizzlers every now and then. So that should do it for this one. Appreciate everybody watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All that good stuff. Anything that I'm missing, anything to add? Uh, so does this mean you're going to get back to sanding my table? Woman, like I got time to go out there.